for Volgograd and I hope for United to win by a, at least a couple of goals. Well, still no news from downstairs in the dressing rooms. It's thrown us all into confusion, particularly our commentators here tonight, uh, Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Evening, Martin. Hello, Richard. Yes, well, uh, Andy was uh, looking down at the warm-up, trying to identify one or two of these Russians. He's very good at that, and spotted <laughs> Gerashenko making his way off uh, down to the tunnel. Now, I can fill you in a bit on that, because he was very, very doubtful. He played in Rota's last game, which was on Thursday. He got injured then. He hasn't trained since. He's such an important player, though. In a way, it's, it's obviously sad news for the Russians, but great news for Manchester United. They regard him as the best sweeper, not just in Russia, and remember, there was a good one on view for Spartak against uh, Blackburn a couple of weeks ago, but they think this fellow's better, and even the best in the whole of the, so the old Soviet bloc. And it looks as though he's walked out of the game. Well, I mean, the way he limped off, I would be absolutely amazed if they, if they can patch him up in the next 15 minutes and, and get him back out there. And it was ominous for them that their, uh, their delegates, their managers, whoever's the officials there were in with the referee, it looked like. I assume what they want to know is, can they bring someone else on, and will it be an official substitute? Or will it count? You know, can they just change it with the teams being in? I think that'll be the problem. Well, Nick Collins is down in the tunnel, and Nick, I believe you've got some news for us. Yes, Martin, Garashenko doesn't play. He's been ruled out, and there will be one change. Number 12, Alexander Berkatov, who originally was a substitute, he will be in the starting lineup. Alex Ferguson has agreed to that change coming at this late hour, and they've also named a fifth substitute, which is Oleg Nechev. He now becomes a substitute. But uh, that's the latest news from down in the tunnel. Thank you very much. Well, that's very sporting of uh, Alex Ferguson. Let's hope it doesn't backfire. <laughs> Live European football here on Sky Sports tonight. Manchester United against Roto Volgograd. UEFA Cup, first round, second leg, nil-nil from the first leg. And when we come back, we'll be live with Manchester United in Europe. Tonight for our live football, we're with Manchester United in Europe. Rotor Volgograd, the opposition tonight, a place in the second round of the UEFA Cup, the prize. Thursday, we're with Everton, Cup Winners Cup football. Everton and Reykjavik, Goodison Park, 7.30 start. And on Sunday, what a super Sunday this is. Big double header. Everton against Newcastle, one o'clock start. And we're following that with the return of King Eric. Cantona and Manchester United go in against Liverpool. That's this coming Sunday here on Sky Sports. Quick word with Mark Hughes. How many then for Manchester United to mark if you're on a United win? Um, I think it's it's always nice to, to get an early goal. I think uh, that, that'll be the, the main thing. If they can get an early goal, it could be three, three four goals. Uh, if if they get a little bit of um, confidence by by the fact that uh, United haven't scored early on, um, it may it may be just a one nil, a one one or two nil uh, victory. But um, I can't see them scoring. Really. Kevin, you're with Manchester United, but uh, if there was to be a word of caution, what would it be? We've just got to watch them in terms of you know their shooting power. They will shoot from anywhere, so they will. I think they showed that in Volgograd. And I think they'll come here. They'll keep it very contact, very compact, very tight as well. And they look for the odd break. And you know they've just got to be careful. They really have, and just be a little bit cautious and be patient as well. I believe then the goal will come. The goals will come for you. And the watch word: patience. Patience. You've got to, I think the European football as it is, it, it is a lot more patient than the normal Premier League football. And that's why the young lads, I said, they do so well to be have this patience. You know, to play the game the European style game and uh, tonight would be a, a, a big test for them in that, in that regard. Well let's join our match commentators Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Martin. Thank you, Rich. Thank you Richard. Rota are European novices. Last season they took a first leg lead to not but according to their officials they were beaten in a second game before it started. Shocked standing in the tunnel at the noise of the crowd. We'll look for signs of stress here tonight likely to be increased by the team change that was made with Manchester United's permission some 10 minutes ago and the loss of a key figure in their defence. Well, since the first leg, Manchester United, of course, have been humbled here by York. 
that will at least be in the back of their minds they've also topped the premiership table briefly though it was Rota have had a couple of Russian league matches winning at home losing away last Thursday to second place Lokomotiv Moscow scoring eight goals conceding five indeed a nil-nil against Manchester United was something of a surprise in their own competition they're high scorers but they let plenty in Sending a week in defence. Ryan Giggs up front. And Andy Cole. And his name was announced. Great reaction from the crowd here. Well, the ground may only be open on three sides. But the spectators are certainly giving this a full and a European feel. It is rather strange, but first time I've been here since they started work on it, but there is still a fine atmosphere, as you would expect inside Old Trafford, even though only three quarters of the ground in use. But make no mistake, this is a big night for Manchester United Football Club. Conscious of relative failure in Europe in the past four seasons. Hence the call for the obvious qualities of Andy Cole. Only two and a half weeks after he limped off at Everton. And Roy Keane sidelined even more recently in the first leg, in fact. The emphasis on youth is switched tonight to the fullbacks with Paul Parker, Dennis Irwin and Gary Neville all injured. There are European debuts for John O'Kane and 18-year-old Phil Neville. And there are so much is made of the youth factor in this side, but they've got good experience when it matters. That's a tremendously experienced trio at the back, Martin. Really, really strong. And it's a good base for them to have. Ahead of them, OK, they've got Beckham, who I think was a real threat over there down there. I think he, he deliberately picked Neville so he could allow Sharp to play further forward and give them that experience. And with Kicks and Cole flying up front, well, anything's possible. If Rota are to cause a shot tonight, the most likely source is Oleg Beretenikov, the Russian League's leading scorer with 25 goals in 26 games, five in two matches since he faced United for the first time. But the big change is the number four, Berkatov, brought in really at the 11th hour. There was a little ball slipped down the right-hand side and he was away again. Bounces off Giggs. Jesse Koch tracking back. Zernoff's done well this time to get the better of Pallister for a moment. Kornietz, who played in the same team in the Ukraine. Donets as Andre Kanchelskis. There's no flag. Zernoff, oh, need a gauss. And Manchester United look at the linesmen, look at themselves. Rota having a way goal. They've done it while playing with 10 men, although Schmarco now comes back on. Nida Gauss tapped it into an empty net. Andy. Well, that's incredible. I said that Nida Gauss looked a good player in the first leg. And his skill, we didn't see it there. But he beats Steve Bruce all ends up. I too looked at the linesman, Martin. I wasn't sure. But the way he kept his run going. Watch the skill here. Now look at that. Leave Steve Bruce. Whoa, oh, it's tight. But they know if you're on lane and there's a doubt, you give the attacker the advantage. That's what we've been saying all along in the Premiership this season. He carried on his run. Great vision to just roll it across the six-yard box. And that was a super goal. A really high-quality strike. This side is one of the more experienced players, and it's really down to them at the moment to guide the European Greenhorns through this difficult time, but there's Bruce making a mistake, and United are caught out again. Karatenikov. 2-0! That's what he can do. He stamped his trademark here at Old Trafford. Steve Bruce gave it away, and Manchester United are in danger of giving it all away in Europe. Well, they can't say they haven't been warned. The two players we talked about before, and Martin, were, that were a threat, have been the two goal scorers. Very Tenikov, we know. 
Oh, Tenenkov. Four from possession. Oh, and, uh, Neville had turned his back. And it looked promising for United then. Nita Gauss shot aside by King. Nothing wrong with that challenge. On the right is Stoltz. Giggs tearing through the centre. Cole coming in from a deeper position. This is Ryan Giggs, now Andy Cole. Goalkeepers push it out, scores! Well, that's one back. And again, the goalkeeper can't deal with. Not a great stop shot, but this time they catch him a little short of numbers. For the first time in the match, they haven't got enough players back. Skulls picks out, kicks very well, a lovely little touch, he knows Cole's there. And I thought, is he going to come into his right? No, he goes on to the left. Goalkeeper can only touch it. And Skulls has done what you want him to do. He's played the pass, but look at him, watch him come into the shot. There he comes, he's not satisfied with just passing the ball. And that's a reward. There's still half an hour to go. The climb has just leveled out a little. It's still a climb, though. Cornets. Diggs with the corner. Schmeichel causes the confusion. It was a very bold attempt to reach the corner as the other goalkeeper came out in more orthodox fashion to do his job. Pallister. 